<laughs> just kidding. Is it on my resume? It was on her resume. Oh. <laughs> Make as much noise as possible from behind the scenes. <laughs> So I, I know just. We're trying to talk. She's just like. <laughs> <sighs> That's gonna sound like, great in audio. Fuck? Yeah, um, that's right. Cody doesn't know yet. This is bucket list. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just thought of this just now. So we'll do a. What's on your bucket list? You know, things you want to do, places you want to go, experiences well, got, you want to have. I only got one thing. I don't care. So we'll start now. What's the fucking? Point okay, now? go. A bucket. What's, what's, you want a bucket for your bucket list. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Just fucking well, so it. what's uh no. What's a so far, what's a bucket list item that you've done? Have you have you done anything that would be on someone's bucket list maybe? So for instance, I know it's your job, but you guys being truck drivers have seen a lot of the country so far. How many states have you guys been to? <sighs> Well, that's actually a tough one. It's probably been, what'd you say, 18? Maybe like 22. 22? God, what is wrong with my estimates? 18 to 22? That's a big fucking stretch. Yeah, four states is quite an area. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what's so about like 22. What's the furthest east you guys have gone? Uh, Indiana. Was it Indiana? Indiana. Yeah, Indiana. What about furthest? Actually, we went to South Carolina first. You guys went to South Carolina? Oh, that's North right. Oh, coast yeah, that's coast. right. That's right, yeah. South Carolina. You guys went we coast went to coast? straight from... Um, How many hours of a drive is that? Well, it was like seven. Was it 1,700? It's got to... Well, that's not hours. <laughs> no, Those not hours. certainly miles. <laughs> I'm thinking Let's miles. try again. Sorry, I don't think hours. I think miles. <laughs> uh, 2,700. My bad. 2,700 miles? Mm-hmm. Fuck Yeah, 2,700 miles. No. Still, 1,700 miles, it's... I don't even know where it's that's not where great. From, yeah. um, but no, on a, you know, on someone's bucket list, like, I don't know if it's per se one of my bucket list, but yeah. I would love to go to every state. I think it'd be cool to go to every state and stay for a few days and see what it's about. You guys are obviously yeah, working. It's not so good. You guys are obviously working, so you don't give a fuck where you're at. Still not so good. I think so. I mean, there's something cool in every state. There fucking has to be. Yeah, still not good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, yeah, I hear you on that though. So yeah, that is definitely um one of my bucket list things too. Um, not really a bucket list. It's just one of the things I want to do. Bucket list. Okay, yeah, I guess I can follow follow the guidelines. So um, uh, one one thing that you did ask me that I've done that I think that might be on someone's bucket list is save a person's life. Oh, I don't care if someone dies or lives. Well, you didn't say it was on your fucking bucket list. That's true. So, lift. why would that I, be? On... I don't know why the fuck I just said but, lift. <laughs> but why would list. that? Why would that be on your bucket list? I mean, that's not typically something that. I mean, if anything, it seems yourself, like an. Maybe I don't know. What sins have you committed? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just saying. Like, I don't that know. That was the guiltiest look you just gave the camera. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I, you fucking I, serial killer. I, 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 <laughs> That's why you guys are going state to state, dropping bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, no, hey. I don't think. I think that's more of a like one of those. I don't know what I would categorize it as, but it's just something cool that you guys have done or that you've done, I guess. But I wouldn't say that's on my bucket list. Like, on my bucket list isn't saving a tree for or a cat from a tree. Saving a tree from a cat. I'm saving a tree from a cat. This <laughs> motherfucker scratched those trees. Up. They do. They fuck it up. But, um, no, so a couple years ago, I did one of my bucket list things was skydiving. Okay. Me and my mom went, and we were supposed to go last year for our second jump, and I think it was Thursday or Friday, that the, the day that it was, that when I found this out, we were supposed to go on a Saturday, but on Thursday or Friday, we heard that the place we were going, someone went skydiving. Shoot didn't open. Oh no! Instructor and the person <laughs> hit the ground. Oh my gosh! So, needless to say, haven't been since. Yeah, I think that would probably because not only drop from my bucket list immediately. I'll definitely do it again. Well, just have not you there. Actually, seen video of someone actually hitting the ground. Yeah, they bounce. Yeah, they, they like they fucking bounce. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> you think it would be like a watermelon? Now they bounce a little bit. 
a and little I don't, bit, they can you can slam dunk them. That's how high they bounce. I don't think that they died immediately either. It's the fucked up part. Yeah, which which we're not trying to. Yeah, no, it's a super unfortunate thing to <laughs> yes, happen. Yes, very unfortunate. But like but, I said, yeah. a day or two before I was supposed to go to that place, the instructor and the person they were jumping with died. Really? That's insane. So That's my crazy. next jump, I'm going somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I would definitely go somewhere else. Yeah. So it's probably rated and it's got some good reviews. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's one of my bucket list things. Um, another one is that I want to go. I want to go race a car on a track like a nascar car yeah. nascar car does it have to be a nascar no car? but something or fast can it be a um, race car car a race car car would be cool <laughs> but i just want to do wow how dare you real fucking professional and this is what happens when you hire from god last episode your phone's going off <laughs> now her phone's going off phone. that was your phone again <laughs> no no god damn it <laughs> no no that wasn't me <laughs> wasn't me <laughs> Yeah. But no, I think it'd be cool to go on a, onto a track, because you can do that at the Larry H. Miller Raceway. I'm not sure how much it costs, but you can get in one of those cars and do the track. You could do the track? I, I thought you could just do the quarter mile. No, that's, no, no the... that's at RMR. Oh, okay. And that's okay. where you take your was... own car. Oh, okay. What's I the thought... fastest you've ever been in a car? Probably the Camaro? Yeah, about... Actually, no. It was in my car. Uh, my GT... The GTI that I had. You had a GTI? Yeah, 2017 GTI. When was this? Sport. After the Prius? Uh, no, actually, after this car. I had it for a little bit. I leased it. After you got this one? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What was the fastest you went? This fucking fast car. <laughs> well, yeah, it was a turbo. <laughs> nah, um... I raced someone, uh, I raced some guy from work, um, I smoked his ass, but anyway. Um, yeah, he was probably in a Saturn. No, he was in a Mustang, actually. That's why you won. Yeah. But what, how fast did you go? Do you, do you remember He was on a horse. You know, I mean, like, fucking, I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, um, I was going about, like, uh, 150. Yeah, so the fastest I've ever been, and allegedly, was on 7th East, mm -hmm. and I allegedly went 165 and this was in my friend's uh he had a nissan 240sx with an ls1 swab oh, so he had a right. v8 he had wow. basically the camaro engine inside of his car that's insane how yeah. much horse was he pushing i don't fucking know an oh. ungodly amount <laughs> and he had it straight piped and so it was loud as fuck oh really and so when we w when we did this race he was racing his brother who had an evo 10 and his evo 10 was pretty built Mm -hmm. And we come up and we allegedly turn on to 7th East and floor it. <laughs> and both cars are pretty loud. And on the corner there is a 7-Eleven. We didn't know, but there was two cops sitting at the 7-Eleven. Yeah, and you're like in the loudest car possible too. Not only that, we're racing. Well, yeah. It's... So we turn on the 7th <laughs> and floor it. What? Loud as shit, both cars. Yeah. And so we go from 40... Ninth, I think, in mm -hmm. seventh east, past forty fifth, mm -hmm. and got to forty first or something like that, or thirty ninth. Really? I mean, so would you say it was like maybe a quarter mile? Oh no, we started at thirty third, past thirty ninth, got to forty fifth, because we were going south. It's a little longer than a quarter mile. It's a good two miles, maybe. Or, really? Yeah, I don't know. But we were going so fast, we don't remember <laughs> passing one intersection. We don't remember passing 39th. Would you guys have fucking NOS or something? No, we were just flooring just it. It was a green light. A fucking vortex. It was a green light. It was a Saturday night. That's when everyone goes out racing, Friday night, Saturday night. And we, halfway in between 39th and 45th, we finally started slowing down. And we get to a normal, because we're hitting traffic, so we slow down to a normal uh, speed. Yeah. And these fucking two cops go, Voo! and pass us. And so pretend the mic is us. And so it's us right here, and the Evo's over here, in the right lane. Yeah, they just... And the cops go... Split right between you guys, huh? And they slow down. And so we're like, fuck. And we turn left, going up towards Smith's on 9th. Mm -hmm. And his brother is going to go right down towards their house. Kind of split off. Yeah. His brother gets lit up. Oh. Cops light him up. 
And so we turn left and go to Smith's, and there's a gas station there. Yeah. And we're parked there, and this cop's across the parking lot, over by the 7-Eleven on Smith's. Just fucking staring just you Just watching us with his lights on. <laughs> we pretended like, to get I'm gas. I'm fucking watching you guys. Yeah. Well, we <laughs> pretended to get gas, because we just pulled in there to hide for a minute. And so we even went as far as putting the thing in the tank and pretending to swipe the card. And we see him over there just watching us with his headlights, waiting for us to do something stupid. Pull out of there and went back home. And his brother was home by then. And the cop pulled him over for How improper... long would you say that took you to get home? Because most of the time cops take like a good couple of hours. Did you guys take it for a long time? How many times have you been pulled over to where it takes a couple of hours? Dude, dead serious. I, I've been pulled over and it took like two hours. Yeah. What did you do? No, nah, it was just like uh, something like insurance or something like that. I don't know. I think the even when we got pulled over in Beaver, that guy took forever. Most stops are like 15 to 20 minutes at the max, I, I think. I don't know, man, but... Two hours, but... Well, I felt like, it. I don't know, maybe he's big. I don't know. It took him a real long time to walk up to us and walk back. And I, I don't know. I feel bad for him, period, though. But Anyways. Anyway. It was maybe like 15 minutes. I mean... From the time we split off and he got pulled over to the time we got back home, 15, 20 minutes, or back to his house. Well, it and just seems like it would take a long time. Cop pulled him over for up. improper lane change. Really? They didn't see us racing. Yeah, well, they couldn't really. All they heard was our cars. Because we were already so far gone. That so they couldn't even get you on the dash cam or anything like that, huh? No, by the time we slowed down, they were coming up on us. Mm, they okay. couldn't tell which cars were which, and we were slowing down, so the cars weren't revving still. Yeah, obviously, you guys were stopping. And so he was watching us, waiting for us to have some sort of exhibition of speed to give us a ticket for that. Oh, really? But yeah, yeah I that's... think it was about 160, 165 on 7th East, which is a 45. Really? That's so, crazy. Slightly excessive. Yeah, that's insane. Um, have you guys been out of the country? No. That is actually one of one of my things that I really want to do is like get out of the country. I want to go to like visit Rome and shit, I like the like historical kind of shit. You're such a basic white bitch. <laughs> I used to not really care for it, and now I actually do. No, no, it's yeah. actually really fucking interesting, dude. To be truthfully honest, to see where like where we came from and shit. I think that the the past. Are you from Rome? No, I'm from England though. Oh, so so it's Europe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't fucking live over there. Rome is in England. You should know that much. Well, <laughs> all right, fuck. I didn't know I was in fucking geography class. I'm glad you got that right, though. <laughs> no, so if I was going to go anywhere... <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you fucking dick. <laughs> um, I don't know. I want to go to, like, England. Not England. God damn it. <laughs> You're such a fuck. Oh, my God. Germany. See, so you want to go to England? Yeah. <laughs> Germany? Okay. No, some right. of the smaller towns in Germany. And I want to stay... Like, each place I go, I want to stay for, like, a week or two mm -hmm. to really get the feel for it instead of just going for, like, four or five days. Well, I thought thought of, like, doing, like, a year. Live, like, a year in each each um, country. Just trying to get, the, like, you know, the, the whole atmosphere. Like, taste everything and try and feel like... like how many like dicks you can fit in you? <laughs> no. No. No, that, that's, that's not, not nearly what I was planning on, but But sure. no, yeah, that'd be, that'd be something I want to do. Yeah, so, the dick thing? Yeah, the totally, dick thing. I could see you. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I got invited to go to Australia this, not this year, next year. And so I'm, I think I'm going to try to save up for that. And then... I don't know, I listen to a lot of travel podcasts. Yeah. And it just makes you want to go to some of those places and do the things. And something they do, or at least one of the guys does that I listen to, his name is Ari Shafir. He's a comedian. He has mm -hmm. a podcast also. Um, he'll stay at hostels, which is just basically an Airbnb or like a mini motel kind of thing. Yeah, it's like a motel. Yeah. Um, they're just, I heard they're a lot worse, but I don't really know. I've never been I mean, there. they're not it's not a corporate chain so it's not going to be upkept or yeah like they're refurbished by to like, that like standard. a separate owner or something yeah. like that yeah but he went off the grid he got rid of his smartphone he has a flip phone now 
Really? He has a flip phone, and he'll and when he has his laptop, he'll even email his agent. They still make flip phones. Yeah. That's insane. So he'll email his agent when he wants something put on social media, and he'll email it to him, tell him what he wants, and stuff like that. Really? But other than that, I mean, he doesn't do social media. Interesting. And so, a couple months ago, I turned my phone off for a week. Mm-hmm. It was glorious. I mean, it's nice not being able to, like, check social media. You realize how much time you burn. Experience, yeah, the quietness of... Well, you just realize how, how big of a waste of time it is. Because yeah. when you're bored, you reach for your phone, and you procrastinate doing something that you actually need to do. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I mean, I got several projects that I had been putting off done in that week, along with laundry and cleaning and just, you know, shit that I feel like I never have time for. But I turned my phone off for that week, and it was great because I would just download the podcast or the music that I would listen to, mm-hmm. and then I'd go out all day and just listen, and then I couldn't get phone calls, couldn't text people. It was nice. Yeah, that, that's crazy, and though, think, like, just to see that, because, like, I think that's how everything's going, really. Well, and I mean, if you just shut your phone off, and you can get a lot more done. <laughs> well, and sure. so the way that I'm tying this into the bucket list thing is that with him, he just has that flip phone, so he can't sit there while he's experiencing all of these things. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's in the moment. He doesn't have service in some of the places he goes. He doesn't have a smartphone to sit there and dick around. He just has to figure it out. In countries that he doesn't speak their language. Really? In Myanmar or Thailand or something like that, you know? He's yeah, going to these places. Yeah, I don't places. know about doing that that way. I Why? mean, like, it's cool, but, like, I don't know. Why not? I think it'd be pretty tough, man. That's the point. Yeah, I can see the point. Everything. I just don't know if that would be for me. <laughs> like, Not everything, but to an extent, the certain things that you've done that have just absolutely sucked in the moment are the ones that you look back on and say... That was a good time. It fucking sucked. Like, you you can laugh about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, hard times make good memories. I don't think going to an amusement park, it's temporary fun. It's fun then, but you're not going to tell a story about it five years down the road about how fun that roller coaster was. Yeah, that's true. Five years down the road, that's you're going to talk point. about, like, how me and you lived in an RV yeah. powered by an extension cord. Right. Living off of granola bars. When times <laughs> suck... When things aren't easy is when you're making good memories, I think. Yeah, for sure. No, I think you're actually right. And so I think that when you're out there traveling... more, though. That's, that's you, another thing. It, it teaches you something. You get a lesson out of it. So I think when you're out there traveling and you don't have your phone on you, mm-hmm. and you have to struggle and try to figure out your way to go to places, I think it'd make it more memorable. Well, it's the same thing as if you were to go backpacking or something like that. Don't you think? I mean, kind of, yeah, if you don't have a GPS or a phone on you, but... Most people I've seen usually got like a laptop or something like that, or a phone at people least. People take laptops back backpacking. Uh, there was one guy. I think he was just bringing it so he could upload everything. Why? Just do it when you get home. Yeah, I don't know. It was his decision, not my choice. But I, I I've always wanted to like go over there and see see the place, experience it, but also like really like taste their food and like experience the culture so, and stuff. I always thought that would be actually really interesting. So. so Rome. Where would you go in Rome? Colosseum. Obviously. That would be awesome. Yeah. That's fucking crazy that they used to, people used to fight lions. Could you imagine that? Fuck Fighting lions. a goddamn lion with a sword. Too. Yeah, but also lions with a sword. Yeah. It's Fuck true. that. <laughs> they used to flood that th- they used to flood that thing out for some reason, I think. I don't remember uh, the story. I'm pretty oh. sure that thing used to hold water. I don't know about that. Have you looked that up? Huh? Coliseum, holding water? Yeah, good to work. Over there, lazy. <laughs> um, God, fucking worst producer ever. <laughs> I know. It's, it's <coughs> we're we're hiring for a new producer. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, um, yeah, Coliseum. Anyway. Where else would you go? That's the only place <laughs> right the now. The only place in the world is Rome? <laughs> Oh, like I thought you meant inside Rome. Like it's like the only well, big no. statement. So where else would you go? Rome. But like, uh, the I've... Leaning Tower of Pisa would be really cool to see. I don't know where that is, so I believe that's in Italy. Italy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, we're probably totally fucking wrong. Fucking stupid Americans. They're like these fucking retards, <laughs> man. They're like fuck over there. Stupid Americans. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, one place that I could care less if I ever go is Paris. Yeah, I don't. 
I mean, like, I think it'd be, it'd be cool to see. It would definitely the... be cool to go. Don't get me wrong, but, but... I just that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I'd I rather go to that. a small town, a small village, or something in Germany out in the countryside, or go through the canals of Venice, which I hear are disgusting. But <laughs> yeah, totally that over over Paris, right? Yeah, like I'd rather do something like that. I don't want to go where it's just gonna be swamped with tourists. Well, if you want something pretty bad, I mean, I heard um, you know there's some places in like Mexico that are pretty bad too. So I have zero desire to go to Mexico. It's right there. It's just a more Southern California. If I were to go to Southern America or South America, it'd be somewhere in the rainforests. Really? Where I could get all sorts of infections and die. Actually, rainforest would be pretty cool to experience, though, for sure. I don't, uh, know. I don't know about the whole... I just don't like the heat. ...about dying experience, but yeah, sure. I, I would like to go to Egypt, but at the same time, I don't want to die. I hear it's super sketchy there, and it's real hot. I don't like the heat at all. I'd like to see the pyramids. That's about it. Other yeah, than that, the Sphinx. get right back on the plane and bounce. Yeah. Maybe ride a camel. Ride a camel. Ride a camel. You can do that here. You can do that. Well, it's not fun here. It's a camel. Yeah, where's the fucking sand in the Sahara Desert and shit? Fucking know. You know what sucks about Utah? Is we have the Salt Lake. It yeah. is so salty that one thing lives in it. Fucking brine shrimp. Yeah. And not only that... Uh, which reminds me... <laughs> not only that, the water level is so low you can walk across the goddamn lake. Yeah. It's... And it smells like death. <laughs> it's a great place. It's awesome. <laughs> and then we have Lagoon... What is this bullshit half-assed fucking Disneyland? Oh yeah, sorry. It is. I was for some odd reason I was thinking of a swamp. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Anyway, back it's to just Lagoon. a small. It's a small amusement park. Yeah, it is. They've got a couple of cool rides there, but for the most part, that place. You know what Dude, really pisses me off the, about Lagoon? For the most part, some of them are shut the fuck down. Well, the Wicked, the new one? Yeah. Or no, Wicked and Cannibal. Cannibal's the newest one. Those are cool rides. Other yeah. than that, that place sucks. Actually, the Cannibal is probably the coolest thing there. I mean, other than that... Death Trap, and so is that white roller coaster. I, that shit makes me laugh every time. You know how you go around the sharp corners? Yeah, and you get whiplash on yeah, every turn? Yeah, I laugh every time. Why? I don't fucking know. This is the know. most painful ride. I think it's because where the bar is on me, and it's so small, that it, like, pushes on my ribs, and my ribs are, like, super ticklish. So, it like, hurts. as I'm about to die, I'm just laughing every time we turn. It hurts. It's not fun. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a really painful little ride, but it's fun. I often laugh when I step on a mousetrap, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking sadist. <laughs> you gotta learn the small things <laughs> yeah. are fun. <laughs> Other than that, though, that place sucks. You know what really bums me out about that place, though? Mm. Is that they have those that tiger. Have you guys not seen that? They have a zoo on, off that train. Yeah, I, I've seen the zoo, but I don't really go because it's just small. looks like they just treat them like shit. Dude, it's they like a 15 really... by 10 fucking cage. They're always in. It's some little cell. Yeah. I mean, it's not like the Hogel Zoo, which is cool once every few years. Other than that, I saw it. See, I don't even remember going to the Hogel Zoo. I think I went when I was really, really young. but I They updated it a lot. Did they? Yeah, so some I've of it's pretty nice. I've been wanting to go see, nice. like, Zoo of Lights and shit like that. I don't want to go see some animals in the winter. But the, to All be, the animals are inside. Well, I hate seeing them captured and stuff like that, too, so I'm not that They're all lethargic. Fan, but, but. The, Joe Rogan has the best joke about that. The only animal that doesn't give a fuck about being in the zoo is a giraffe. Why is that? Because they're not getting chased and eaten. They don't give a shit. They just walk around and eat. <laughs> People feed them lettuce. Yeah, that's that's true. also the only animal in a zoo that you can let a child feed lettuce to. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're not going to go do that to a snapping turtle. Take your goddamn kid's arm off. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. That's funny. Um, but, uh, now another thing I hate about Lagoon is like, fucking, dude, their churros used to be so good. And now their churros are just fucking rocks. Disneyland has the best churros. Dude, it's... Have you like fuck? You just fucking throw it, dude, like a fucking nunchuck, and just beat the shit out of someone with it. Cedar Point in Ohio. Mm. I told you guys to go there while you were there, but you guys didn't because you're I don't know why. Busy. No, you're not. Um, 
it's, the, it's supposed to be the biggest and I think the fastest roller coasters in the U.S. That would be on my bucket list to go yeah, to that amusement would, park. That's definitely something I really want to do. I want to do definitely on my bucket list is to go to all of the amusement parks. Yeah, that's a lot, dude. It is, but I I wanna I wanna experience it. You know what I forgot about that we have here? I love Disneyland. We have a Knott's Berry Farm right here. here. What? Don't we? No, we don't. We have Cherry oh, Hill. What the fuck are you talking about? Just kidding. Cherry Hill. Dude, it's like a kid slide. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Cherry Hill and Knox Berry Farm. Um, Knots? Yeah, two totally di- Knox. Knots. Like you're tying a knot. Oh. Did you really think it was Knox? Yeah, like Fort Knox. My bad. Speaking of Fort Knox, <laughs> when I was 17, I joined the army. Remember this? Yeah, I do. But you didn't even fucking go in. I couldn't. So... Ten days well, before. Well, didn't they call you a pussy and they yeah. just kicked you out? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> no, so ten days before I was supposed to ship out to basic training is when I broke my elbow. I was supposed to go to Fort Knox. Mm-hmm. But I broke my elbow ten days before I was supposed to go to basic training. Really? And so they just medically discharged me. Was... Wait a minute. You can't go to Fort... Wait. Is Fort Knox actually a real place? probably gonna cut this part <laughs> no what i mean is like i thought fort fort knox was uh, fort knox like, kentucky the prison no it's the u.s treasury oh uh, yeah but you don't go training there who do you think guards it well yeah the they, army well yeah they train the, you uh, there they don't train you there yes they do i didn't think they trained you there i yeah. thought that they just sent you there like mps and stuff like that like military police and stuff no, like I that. i was gonna be trained to there. i was gonna go basic training at fort knox oh okay i didn't th- i didn't mean that i didn't think it was a real place i don't know why i was confusing it with the prison that's in the middle of the alcatraz alcatraz yeah for some odd reason i was confused. those aren't even close yeah i want to go to alcatraz that'd be cool yeah Man, we're probably going to cut this out. But. No, we're not cutting anything out. <laughs> we haven't yet, and we won't now. So, in case you guys have noticed, we haven't brought it up. Sometimes there's going to be a slight gap in videos. We're recording this on my phone, and for some reason, one that hits 4 gigabytes, it switches over to a new video file. And so, there's that gap that's, what would you say, anywhere from 2 to 4 seconds? Yeah, it's like small. Real small gap. Might look awkward, might not. The sound should play through, right? Yeah. So what do you do? Did you just black just screen it? I just cut out the sound, too, because it needs to sync up to the video. Okay, so if it has a weird jump, that's what that is. It's not us editing anything out. Yeah. Um, Even though I want to edit that part out. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, Alcatraz would be cool it's to visit. Right. I have zero desire to go to Florida. Do you? Mm, don't care to go. I do. Why would you want to go to Florida? Yeah, I every guess the fucking Keys and Disneyland, Disney World or Disney World. Sorry, every psychotic headline starts with Florida man. Florida, I know. <laughs> I don't want to go to Florida. I want to see an alligator in real life. You can go to the zoo and see that habitat of Florida <laughs> in the okay. middle of the road. I can't see that. No. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm okay. I, I don't want to get eaten. I want to go to the Hulk. You know, alligators can run 18 miles an hour. I think. You think? And it's know. 18 or 19. That's terrifying. That's, that's fucking scary. I don't yeah. think I can run that fast. You can't. I... Sprinters can run 18 or 19. I think I would just run towards him. Professional sprinters. Jump, jump over. You're not jumping over an alligator. <laughs> when he does 180 degrees with his mouth and swallows you whole. Yeah, but how tall is his upper lip? They can stand up pretty tall, man. They oh, can... they're going to stand on their hind no, legs. No, they can and stand like, up hey, and then tilt going? his head up and open his jaw. He's going to snap your ass down. I don't think so. I think I can that shit. I, I want to film you. I bag his mouth as I'm going over him. I'd be yeah. like, ah, too late, bitch. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Maybe I should reset him. You that. might want to research that before you try it. Yeah. Oh, well. It's good to dream. So. <laughs> anyway. But no, you were talking about going to um, fucking Alc- uh, not Alcatraz, Fort Knox. And you broke your... Well, because you were trying to say on a bucket list. Yeah, I totally slaughtered all of that conversation. Um, but anyway, um, so when you, you wanted to go there to experience it because you missed out on it, basically. Is that what it is? No, you brought it up. 
thinking it was Alcatraz, but I was just sidebarring saying that I was supposed to go to Fort Knox. Anyways, Alcatraz would be cool to go to. Up in Oregon, have you guys driven through the volcano fields? No. No? It's crazy. We went up there once, and there's, I think it's called the Three Sisters or Three Witches or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it's just miles of volcanic rock, just black volcano rocks where, I guess, volcanoes were up there, but it was fucking weird looking. It looks like a different planet. Well, is it just like all black and stuff like that? Just black. Well, so yeah. you have the road weaving through this place, but I mean, it's just black lava rock as far as you can see. Yeah, I've seen seen that in it's, Hawaii. It's just like that. Oh yeah, areas. you've been to Hawaii, huh? Yeah. How was that? It was actually pretty awesome. It was actually pretty pretty interesting. Where'd you guys go? Main island? Uh, we actually went to all the islands. We went on a cruise that stopped at each island, so we spent like a day at each island, and then we just traveled over. There's so. the island of Lanai. Lanai. Yeah, I, I don't remember all the names. To Lanai, be but to be honest. they, King Kamehameha, released a bunch of Axis deer on the mm -hmm. island, when he was in charge, however long ago, and, there's something like twenty thousand deer and three thousand people on this island. Really. It is overrun by deer. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. When I was there, though, it was it was nice. Um, they're like really happy and stuff. A lot of people say that there's like a lot of racism and stuff like that that's going on over there, but I never really probably from locals to other people, which I would get if I had a I, dope I ass if I had a dope ass it, island. Yeah. I wouldn't want those people on me. Well, on the thing is, either. is another thing. I guess um, a lot of people are coming in and they're stealing land, basically that's not even like able to even take because it's like the islanders' land. So, it's part of the U.S., though. Yeah, like, I guess there was a... Like, it sucks, I, but... I can't remember who it was, but he bought this giant property, and this lady shed was on her property, but they sold part of her property, but they didn't have the right to it. So she had to, like, try and somehow get to her shed, but it was inside this guy's, like, mansion yard now, because he, like, was able to basically put down money and just take over part of her land, which was so, bullshit. But. Hawaii is a bucket list for a lot of people. Yeah, I think so, it'd be cool to go. Um, I'm not super hyped on it. It's, it's the U.S., but it's for sure a different island. I mean, it's out there. To totally be honest, like uh, I had a friend that actually was going down there, and he's like not a huge fan of like like ocean surfing, like the the heat and stuff. Like he he likes to go like ice fishing, you know, bow hunting and stuff like that. Uh, this type of person he is. And I just told him, I said, you know, to be honest, just be open-minded when you go. And it's just, it just changes, just changes your outlook, like, totally. It's just a total different place. It's just insane. And he went, and he came back, and he was like, dude, you're totally right. It's, like, totally different. Even though it's part of the U.S. still, it, it, it's, it's yeah. like, totally, like, mind-blowing still. Um, so, I would definitely go and see it. We, we saw, um... When we were out there, we got to hear the the whales and stuff like that. Like, uh, I guess it was like full moon or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. But you could um, stand on the beach and you can hear them all, like, making noise and shit going through the water. That's like crazy. That was fucking awesome. And it was, like, the middle of the night. And you can see all the fucking stars and shit. So out of any yeah. state, my bucket list state would be Alaska in the summer. Why? Because it's so fucking pretty up there, man. Is it, isn't it still cold during the summer? It's like 60, I think, 70. Oh. Well, that's not that bad. You know what else I want to do? Bucket list? The Northern Lights. Northern Lights would be pretty that cool. That would be fucking awesome to see. I think I'd want like a metal ball that just holds a bunch of fucking heat in it so then I can roll there. Yeah, I fucking hate snow. <laughs> I can't stand it. I'd rather be in like fucking somewhere that's going to keep Apparently me Apparently there's warm. part of Canada you can see the Northern Lights from certain times of the year. Very cool conversation. Way to good, good pause. Um, yeah, that's crazy that Canada's attached to us. They are completely different people than we are. They yeah, are they so are. much nicer than us. It's but dude, it's one of the hardest states to get in, or, or countries to get into for sure. Yeah, their immigration is more strict than ours, I believe. Yeah, it is. It's hell to try and get in there. But they're the yeah, nicest they're, people, eh? Yeah, they they are nice though. Oh sure. <laughs> they are for sure i've actually met a couple that have um visited down here from from just running into them and stuff like that and they're actually pretty cool people. there's a canadian tv show 
I'm fucking obsessed with. Letter Kenny. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of it? No. Letter Kenny is the funniest show I think I've ever seen. Really? You guys, yeah. So later tonight, you guys need to look that up. Hilarious show. Is it? Um. D- anyways, bucket list. <laughs> okay. So you don't have any tattoos. No, I don't. Is that by choice or because of the medical condition? Because of my medical condition. So prior to that, would you have gotten one? Um. Yeah, I actually did want one for a long time. What was that? Was that a bucket list thing for you or? No, I just wanted one. Okay. Some yeah. people, I don't know. Yeah. I have a lot of shitty tattoos that I, I don't know. People are real strict about tattoos and they always say, oh, it has to have meaning or needs to have this purpose behind it or. Like I have a lawnmower, man. Cutting, little... Cutting your pubes? Yeah. Yeah. You got that? No. Oh. I have your name tattooed on my ass. I don't know why that's there, but okay. Like Steve-O, the, your name. Oh. The, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? No, so me and me and Vincent did it. We both got the same tattoo the same day. And then he's also tattooed my foot. Russell's tattooed my other foot. Really? Yeah. And Interesting. Those stories and those moments of getting those tattoos or just like doing dumb shit or, I don't know. I think those are better than finding some meaning behind this beautiful piece of art. But also at the same time, if I find a tattoo that I find um, visibly attractive or appealing, like just, a, like I don't know, for some reason a piece of art draws you in, I want it tattooed on me. Yeah. So when my tattoo artist... I think it just depends on the person, though. I mean... Yeah, that's what I mean. So this varies care, person but... to person, but some of my, my tattoo artists will post some of their work or concepts or you know flash art that they put on their social medias. Yeah. And I'll see it, I'll be like, oh shit, I want that right now. And I'm so impulsive that I'll go get it. And now I'm starting to get to the point where I need to stop doing that and finish all the half-finished tattoos that I have. <laughs> so I've got, right, like the zombie that you haven't gotten done? Yeah, this whole arm. Yeah. Yeah, this whole arm is outlined. Well, that zombie started like 15 years ago. and it's About, still... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was 12. Still got half no. his face all drawn out. My first tattoo I got when I was 16. Really? Yeah. What, what was it? The one that goes up my side. My last name. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. So that was yeah, that's eleven years ago. Was it done? Yeah, I'm totally finished and everything. It was the first tattoo I got. My mom signed for it because I was underage. You do. She went to the tattoo shop and signed, like, gave permission. And How everything. old do you have to be to get a tattoo? Eighteen without parent consent. Really? Is that the same for his piercings and stuff like that? I or? believe so. Really. See, I, I don't know. I don't get piercings. Yeah. I've had my nipples pierced, but that's about hey, it. Hey, me too. We did it on the side of the grocery store at 11 oh, yeah, p.m. one we night. Did do that shit. <laughs> Horrible idea, guys. <laughs> you remember how long your fucking barbell was? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This thing was like a foot fucking long. <laughs> it, was, it was a long fucking barbell. Oh, it was huge. And it was we huge. went on the side of the grocery store because we went over there to get ice <laughs> and alcohol. Who we stare, Anthony? Me, you, and Anthony. Yeah. Was... <laughs> <laughs> and we we sterilized it, and uh, I didn't want to wait because my nipple was cold as shit. Yeah. And so, whap, on the side of the grocery store while we were walking home. And I remember, like, I, I God, we had the wrong, the wrong fucking barbell. So they oh. were, like, this fucking yeah. long. Yeah. So, on, so your nipple's, like, literally right here, and you got, like... <laughs> fucking half of an inch on each side. That was a bad idea. <laughs> and then you got these balls, the little balls. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad idea. I've had a lot of piercings. Have you ever had any piercings? Other than those? Uh, no. Not even your ears? No. Which is probably good. I've got these big dangly buttholes for ears. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting hungry. I hope that registered on the mic. <laughs> I am hungry. Sorry about that. Um, I've been actually fasting, so... No, you're just too lazy to eat. It's not <laughs> fasting. That's what fasting is. No, you're playing a video game, and you're too lazy to get up and make something. I haven't actually touched a video game since, so. Since what, your last meal? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which was like four weeks ago. <laughs> um. Anyways, back to, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. Piercing, uh, so Piercing's you got these not, buttholes on yeah, your face? I've got face. these buttholes for years. I've had my lips done. Um, I've never done my tongue. Refuse to. I just, Why? You ever bit your tongue? Well, yeah. Fuck, fuck that. I'm not trying to pierce it on purpose. <laughs> I'm saying some people do. I, I don't crazy. really get it. Um, 
What about pierce? the dick piercing? Like, what's Mm-mm. up with people that do that? No. Like. No. No. I don't know. I've pierced my septum. Like the bowl, you know? Yeah. That is the most painful piercing I've ever had. Really? It hurt. What? So it wasn't, the pain wasn't awful, but it was like pulling hairs on the back of your neck or something. You know how it makes your eyes water? Yeah. Or something stupid like that. As soon as they put that needle through my septum, it looked like someone splashed water on my face because my eyes and someone like, <laughs> really? <laughs> I wasn't like it didn't hurt as bad as my eyes watered. Wow, that's crazy. It looked like I was being a huge baby. Well, I think it would hurt a lot more because it's like cartilage that's right there. Well, it's skin under the cartilage. Oh, you've got skin in between right here. Uh, yeah, but uh, well, they don't pierce this part. Yeah, they pierce the skin. Right oh, I thought they went further up. They do go higher up, but your skin carries up a little bit. It's not cartilage right underneath the surface right here. Oh, okay. But um, and I've had both of my uh, I don't know, fuck, I nostrils pierced, pierced so. and then I've had my dermal pierced right here. I had that thing on my face. Did you ever get one of those bumps or anything, like where they cut up your skin and throw a little cup underneath there, Mm-mm. like a? It's a silicone ball. Oh, like a fucking like a breast Cisco implant. Or the fucking solo cups just fucking throw it underneath there turn yourself into a fucking unicorn <laughs> <laughs> oh my god have you seen have you seen fucking videos of those guys that do that shit not with solo cups have you <laughs> not with a fucking solo cup but i'm just saying like fucking just like yeah the little yeah. fucking so they put tits on their head <laughs> basically you know what that instantly reminded me of was that scene off little nicky <laughs> with nicky. adam sandler yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, got the tits right on his, on head. his fucking head yeah oh. yeah that's just strange i don't really get it um i don't know i think we went off topic a lot on this episode uh it's getting late though i think we should wrap it up yeah we'll do we could wrap it up we'll do more of a bucket list later i guess um I don't know. Well, actually, I think we'll actually have to sit down and do a bucket list. I think this was us just coming up with a few topics. Yeah. Some of the average, just typical bucket list things. I want to go to this place and see this thing or experience this thing. Um, yeah, I think we should actually sit down. And I don't I say, think we really covered on, like, completing uh, something on the on someone else's bucket list. What do you mean? Well, because you, at the very beginning you were like, do you think that you've completed something or have done well, I have. something? I, I did something. I sky, I sky, skydived? Skydove? Yeah. yeah. Skygove. Skydove. Skydived. Skydive. Yeah. Skydivered. Yeah. Um, so that was on my bucket list for sure. Didn't want to die. So but you I didn't, didn't go. Do it. They shut down that place, actually. Did they? I think well, just while they were investigating it. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I think they opened back up, but mm, I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm not going to say their name, obviously, but... Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't want to go there again. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I think we should actually sit down. Let's write down ten things, and we'll visit this, you know, on in the future. Yeah, for sure. Um, again, we'll come up with more topics. Uh, you guys, give us suggestions if you have any. Tell us your stories. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll leave links in the bottom for social medias to follow us. Yeah, sorry it's been jumping around a little bit um, uh, and not staying too much on the topic. But, I mean, you know, the show is what it is, like what it's called, um, you know. So we're, right just, now, we're just talking and we're just trying a, to enjoy it. It's a really friends. rudimentary setup that we have. Yeah. Um, we're obviously, we're still trying to get over the awkwardness of talking to the camera, talking to ourselves. We can sit and talk and bullshit all day. But it's just when you know that it's going to go live or it's being recorded, it just adds yeah, a different it's just level. Yeah, a little different. Yeah, just a certain sure. level of uncomfortableness. Yeah. So we'll get over that. We'll come up with better topics, better content. Um, again, in the future, we'll go out and do things, bring you guys along with us. And, yeah, well, for now, you know, until we can get – until you're back in town permanently. Yeah, I know. Which I'm is another another couple weeks, and then we'll uh, we'll get going from there. Yeah, for sure. Content should improve dramatically after that. So yeah, it should. bear with us. Definitely. Stay with us. We'll get it done. If you guys have any questions, like I said, comment. Yeah, um, and feel hit free us on to social smash media. that subscribe button. So. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. All right, we'll see, see you guys. Later. Oh, I gotta pee so hard. <laughs> really? Right in the mic. Did you? <laughs> yeah.